Hello darlings, I am Cassandra and today's video the jungle beauty goddesses and the mystic beings are going to answer the question is someone talking smack behind your back? Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, I would like for you to take a moment to let your mind settle into your spirit so that you are better able to select a butterfly color with the message that you need to hear. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. The links for the butterfly colors are listed in the description box below for your convenience. If you have a question for the Jungle Beauty Goddesses or the Mystic Beings, please leave them in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the olive green butterfly, this reading is for you. So first we're going to see what the mystic being has to say to the question, is someone talking smack behind your back? So let's see, is someone talking smack behind their back? It says be patient. Okay, be patient. So now I'm going to look into my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck to get a little clarification. So the question is, is someone talking smack behind your back? And the Mystic Being answer is, be patient. So my intuition is, if the Mystic Beings are saying to be patient, I think that you may discover over time that whatever you think is being said is irrelevant so it's kind of like you may have heard something or you may you know feel suspicious but the truth is whatever is going on is really not something that you should concern yourself with that's 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 my initial intuition about the uh, answer from the mystic being so the first card I have for you is from Demater, who represents Divine Masculine Energy. He's the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. And he says, don't be afraid to make mistakes. I'm going to go over all the cards. But my, my gut feeling about this card is that sometimes I think that we are so caught up in what other people think about us that we aren't able to pursue our dreams and live our life authentically. We aren't able to do the things that we're supposed to be doing because we're caught up in the drama of what other people think about us or what other people may say about us. So that was just my instinct for that particular card, but let me pull the whole thing together for you. The next card I have for you is from the Me, who represents our connection to our divine self, to our higher self, to our idea of God, to all that is. She says, you are a multi-dimensional infinite being. Act as if you will live forever. So again, this card tied to the question is someone talking behind your back. It seems to me that if, well, let me just say this. I don't know, you know, everybody has different beliefs. But let's just assume that 
you have a, a multitude of lives and you learn lessons from each one of those lives to, to help you evolve in another life or in another incarnation. So the card you have that says you are a multi-dimensional being act as if you will live forever. So let's just say for example you're really wondering to yourself is someone talking smack behind my back? Now when we say those words it creates like a certain emotional drama right and our words create our reality our thoughts create our reality would you want to be caught in a loop of wondering about what somebody else is thinking about you as opposed to living your life fully and completely does that make sense so if you were to live forever let's say right now you're just like ooh. If I find that such and such is talking about me, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. like the emotions that it takes to tap into the thought bubble, the thought uh, atmosphere, or what another human being is thinking. It's like, is that the best use of your time on earth? Does that make sense? So it's kind of like you wouldn't want to stay in this loop forever because it is the emotional loop that is taking you away from your divine plan, from your purpose. So if you are a multi-dimensional being who will live forever, what type of life would you want to manifest for yourself? So what other people think about you is really none of your business and what you should be thinking about is what is for your highest good. What is going to elevate you and help you to live your best life. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara uh, represents the uh, root chakra. And if you are in traditional tarot, she represents the um, <clears throat> the pentacle so she says discover what you do better than most this is your path to prosperity now she represents our root chakra our connection to the planet earth our connection to our to our roots to our family to our tribe so to the question are people talking smack behind your back when you think about it, we build relationships with people by sharing intimate information. That's what makes us feel closest to somebody is the exchange of information. And then if it's a family member or somebody you feel close to, you feel betrayed. But what this card is saying, so I'm going to say that this card is saying that whoever is talking smack behind your back is actually somebody who is a family member or somebody who's close to you because she represents the root chakra and also it's our connection to our roots connection to you know um our tribe and that's our, that sort of thing our the people who carry our dna the our ancestors <clears throat> so she's saying that maybe people are talking about you but that shouldn't be your focus because you really need to focus on discover what you do better than most this is your path to prosperity. So basically, even if people are talking about you, so where does that where does that take you? How does that impact who you are and where you want to be? So, and and then to go back to the card from the matter, the first card, it says, "Don't be afraid to make mistakes." Now, what this card means to me is that sometimes we're so worried about what our family think, what our tribe think. You know what I'm saying? What our friends think, what other people think of us, that we are afraid to make mistakes. We are afraid that if I put my art out here and it's not as good as everybody else's, people are going to talk bad about me. Do you know what I'm saying? So you being worried about what other people are thinking about you is preventing you from doing your best. Now I have another card from you, which is the final card in the spread is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara says use your intuition use your intuition to acquire more information she represents logic our inner truth wisdom intellect speaking our truth knowing the truth having discernment what I am picking up from your entire hand is that to the question are people talking smack behind my back? Who is talking smack behind my back? It's really 
this hand is saying yes when it says to be patient it's saying be patient because you're going to understand over time that you don't even care about what people are saying my uncle joe used to say when you talked about your thought about being concerned about what people are saying about you is really uh, it's an obstacle it's an emotional and psychological obstacle that is preventing you from obtaining your goals and dreams so your card from the matter that says don't be afraid to make mistakes right because you know you're kind of worried about what your friends and family gonna say but being worried about what they're saying is actually blocking you from your prosperity blocking you from your dreams from your wealth from living your best life um, use your intuition to acquire more information with what this card is saying from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara is that when we when we take a moment to think about our inner truth and think about for example sometimes the thoughts that we have we don't even know where they came from so like you know you might be thinking like is somebody talking about me like if they are so I mean who cares so if you were to, to assess your beliefs and your core beliefs and you think to yourself why am I concerned about what somebody else is thinking of me how does this benefit me how like do I feel worthy of my dreams like what thoughts do you have about yourself that really don't belong to you maybe you felt that your parents show favoritism or maybe some things happen but a lot of times our thoughts are not real they're they're illusions they're they're distorted so maybe somebody did say something but was it a big deal so this is why the original card from the mystic being says to be patient because over time you're going to see maybe somebody was talking about you but it wasn't a big deal and that you should really focus on what you want to accomplish in life and not worry and not worry about making the mistakes because you're afraid that people are going to make fun of you use your intuition to acquire more information about you about your inner truth and maybe if you find out what they said it may be something that's true but again who cares what matters is what you think about yourself and you are a multi-dimensional infinite um, multi-dimensional infinite being act as if you will live forever if you really understood that this is one of your lifetimes and that from this lifetime you're going to learn lessons that are going to elevate all aspects of yourself would this be an emotional loop that you would be willing to allow your consciousness to get caught in like I mean just take a moment and just think to yourself such and such talk, you know, who said this and who said that like, if you get caught in that energy field it really takes you away from your divine plan it makes you afraid to make mistakes because you don't want to be talked about but the overall message is are people talking smack behind your back so probably but so who cares you're better than that you have a dream you have a plan and focus on what is best for you i really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over what the mystic, the mystic being has to say to the question, is someone talking smack behind your back? Let's see, is someone talking smack behind their back? We would like to know girl. Is someone talking smack? And here we go. <clears throat> yes sir it says pray about it pray about it okay so if the mystic being is saying that you need to pray about it I am going to say that when they ask you to pray they're asking you to settle into your spirit to meditate to ask God to ask whatever you believe in your higher self is this really a concern that is going to bring you closer to your goals or further away from your goals how does this really impact your overall plan so 
I'm going to look at the four cards I pulled for you to give us a little bit more insight. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents our heart chakra, and if she was uh, part of the tarot, the uh, original tarot deck, she represents the cup. She says, sometimes love means hanging on. So basically, I get it. Somebody's talking smack behind your back, but it's somebody that you love and that you need to hang on to this relationship and this is an important relationship to you. And praying about it means that sometimes we think somebody is talking smack, but actually they need to talk. They may have, to, maybe they talk to a friend. Sorry about this, trying to get the light focus here. Um, they need to talk to someone about the situation. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? So Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara represents our root chakra, our connection to our, our tribe, our ancestors, our family, it has to do with structure and boundaries in our life, the people we love, the people we trust, our surround, um, but just think of the element of earth. So what she is saying, now this is what I'm picking up from this card, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? So basically, I'm getting the feeling that maybe you participated in some type of gossip or maybe you were sharing um, too much information too soon in a relationship and that behavior was you thought you were investing in a relationship with somebody so let's just say you um, you meet somebody and you think they're going to be a part of your life maybe it could be a good friend it could be a family member and you you feel that you are investing into the friendship by sharing intimate details about your life because humans bond by sharing information what makes us close is um, <clears throat> are the things that we go through you know like when you tell somebody something that's very personal you feel close to them right you feel like they're a special part of your life because they know something about you that other people don't but maybe it seems like you might have invested emotionally into a relationship that maybe you know when it says pray about it maybe they might have told somebody else and you feel betrayed and it says it's so um, is your current behavior investing? So investing means you are sharing information. Depleting means, you know, like maybe you share with the wrong person and you were, you know, wasting a lot of time. And this relationship is really taking up your time from focusing on something, the bigger picture, focusing on your goals, focusing on your dreams, focusing on the things that's going to help you be all that you came to this planet to be. So... <clears throat> When she says pray about it, and then you have the first card from Jungle Beauty Guys, Kalahari, that says sometimes love means hanging on. I get the impression that it's a person that you have confided in who you love and they love you in return. And they may have told somebody else something, not out of malice, and if maybe this information has gotten back to you. And that's why the jungle, the mystic being says to pray about it, because I get the feeling that it feels like betrayal because someone shares something or says something, but it is a person who actually loves you. The next card I have is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby says, be accountable. Okay, this really, oh my, my cards are just magical, child. So remember in the beginning when I was talking about with Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, and I said, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? So be accountable means what, to what degree have you been sharing information that may not have been appropriate for this particular person? Like maybe you were, to what degree are you responsible for this person's talking smack behind your back? Like, have you said things that maybe you shouldn't have said? Is it a two-way relationship? Are you divulging all of your secrets and this person really isn't sharing anything about themselves with you? Like, you you have to be accountable so that in the future you can use better discernment to help you decide, well, sometimes 
it's not that a person is not trustworthy, but sometimes we dive into relationships with family members and friends, um, you know, romantic partners. We, we start divulging too much about ourselves too soon. And then when they um, say something, it feels like betrayal. It feels like betrayal but too, but we need to be accountable for ourselves in terms of thinking, you know, let's give this some time. Let, let me ease into this. Maybe there are certain things about myself I really don't need to share with this person. Maybe, you know, some things you should always um, keep to yourself unless, you know, maybe you've been in a, the relationship for years and years and years. And even then, we don't need to tell people everything about ourselves. So don't play the victim. Just realize that you have a code of honor to yourself. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire represents our third eye, which has to do with our wisdom, our ability to, um, you know, to wisdom to, to be wise, to make good decisions, to see the truth, to, uh, she says, be original. So basically, what I'm picking up from her is that she wants you to use your third eye because she represents the third eye in terms of understanding and wisdom and un and understand that sometimes we we try to share a lot of information about ourselves because we want to fit in but she said be original be yourself you don't need to share unnecessary information about yourself to make people feel close to you you know how sometimes you go to a party and everybody's talking, about, or you know, like a little get together, and everybody's talking about, oh yeah, my last boyfriend, and da da da, da and this happened, and that happened, and so you want to feel like you're fitting in, so you kind of dive into the conversation and you start telling your personal business with the people at work. Next thing you know, you thought you trusted Becky, and Becky told, you know, Janet, and Janet told Peter. Next thing you know, all your business is around because you were literally trying to fit in. But the cars are saying be original which means that sometimes when we're original everybody doesn't need to see everything you know sh you know give them some shit give them a little bit of this and a little bit of that but you don't need to um divulge all of your personal business your life your the details of your life to people that really haven't proven themselves to be worthy so i really hope this reading helps someone Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink butterfly, this reading is for you. So first, I'm going to go over the car from the Mystic Bean, and then I'm going to go into the cards that I selected from the Jungle Beauty Goddess deck for a little bit more clarification on your situation. So we're asking the question, are people talking smack? Is someone talking smack behind your back? And her answer is, you know what to do, stop pretending. This is like one of my least favorite cards, child. When she asks, when she says, you know what to do, stop pretending, that means that you honestly already know what's going on with the situation. You're just hopefully looking for something other than what your intuition is already telling you to be true. And my car is like, sometimes when I'll just do my own personal reading and I'll get this, I'm like, of course I know what to do, but I was hoping you could just, you know, validate that for me. But they don't like you know but let's see what the other cards have to say so I already know from this particular card that to the question is someone talking smack behind your back you know they are or not whatever's going on you know and you're just kind of figure out like what to do about it but you already know that something is going on so the first card I have from you from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is, listen, dang, she says, listen to your heart. What did the mystic being say? You know what to do. Stop pretending. 
And the first card we got from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari says, listen to your heart, okay? So what, maybe this is validation. So whatever you're thinking and feeling, this reading is validation for that truth. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara says, Ooh, never make an emotional decision. You know what I'm, oh my God, this is a juicy hand. What I'm picking up so far is that somebody's probably talking smack behind your back. You know it's true, but the cards are saying that um, you listen to your heart, which I'm, I'm just going to assume that because it could be no, because you, you could think it and it could not be true. But what I'm going to assume from the hand is that you know that they are, your heart tell you that it's true. But Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara is saying never make an emotional decision, which means that no, you do not want to go blow up their car, okay? You don't want to go and confront them. You don't want to go and um, say something mean or, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have this information, but what do you do with it? What is in your for your highest good? What is the best decision that you can make that, you know, will honor who you are in this situation? That really is, that's what I'm picking up from this hand. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai says, Ooh, she says be unpredictable. All right, this, this hand is caught. Oh, ooh, I love it when it's magic like this. So to the question, is someone talking smack behind your back? The mystic being says, uh, girl, you know what to do. Stop pretending. So basically, your heart is telling you that, you know, I don't know, I can trust this person, right? We have Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari who's telling, listen to your heart. So whatever's in your heart, this is, this, look at this video as validation for what you believe to be true. Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara says, never make an emotional decision. So maybe you want to think twice about beating them up. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you don't want to confront them. You want to think this through. Is this a person maybe you need to sever your relationship with? Maybe you need to watch what you're saying to them. But don't make an emotional decision because this could put you in a bad position. So Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai says, child, be unpredictable. Okay? So be unpredictable means like what if sometimes, you know what's interesting about this hand to me? You know, sometimes people say stuff so it can get back to you so they can push your buttons. And so let's just say, for example, you told somebody something at work and you, you know, you thought y'all were cool and next thing you know, other people are coming back saying, you know, such and such said, da -da -da, right? Or you kind of came back to you. But the truth is, they knew that was going to get back to you. But now, are you going to go off the chain and lose your job? Are you gonna, you know, are they? Are you just gonna be a monkey? They can just push your buttons and make you dance and make you do stupid stuff, make you say stupid stuff, make you show a side of you that's not even you. Take you outside of yourself. No, you're not that person. Don't let anybody take you outside of yourself. When you find out who they are, then you treat them accordingly, right? So be unpredictable means I get the feeling from this hand. This person who betrayed you knew that this information was going to get back to you hoping that you would act in a very predictable predictable way so they can you know pretty much just have you under control when people can do things to make you like show a side of you that you know it's probably not for your highest good they're controlling you i have one more car for you it's from jungle um it's from um the matter sorry about that guys uh, the matter who is the father of the jungle beauty goddesses who represents divine masculine creator of the universe his s his he says just because you have power doesn't mean you have to use it you know what when i get a hand like this i just think my cards are just super magic they're they're magical i don't even know if that's a word they're magical so what he's saying here, just because you have power, 
it doesn't mean you have to, to use it goes right back to what I was my intuition was saying just because you have the power to beat them down and cuss them out and tell them off and, and you know show them who you are is that really what you want to do do you really want to you know show that side of you do you really now that you know that this is a person that you cannot trust treat them accordingly be unpredictable you don't have to show your power child you know you know you can take care of them you know you got a couple good spells and some candles you know you can take them down if you need it to but you know what you don't need to use that power because they're not worth it be unpredictable I really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darling, if you selected the grayish blue butterfly, this reading is for you. To the question, is someone t talking smack behind your back? The mystic being says, let's see, is someone talking smack behind their back? Get my lighting here, John. Ooh, is someone talking smack behind their back? We want to know, please tell us so, it says, what? you need more time, you need more time for what, you need more time, to the question, is someone talking smack behind your back, the mystic being says you need more time, so more time to gather more information, to understand both sides of the story, to let things come to you, to for clarification. I'm going to look at my cards and see what information I have for you, darling. So, the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And she says, why do you need more time? She's crying. I don't know. She says, sometimes love means letting go. Ooh. She represents the heart chakra. If you're into traditional tarot, tarot it's... Um, the, she represents the cups, our emotions, our love for ourselves, for other people, for compassion. You need more time. Do you need more time to get over this person? Do you need, sometimes love means letting go. Mm, I don't know. Let's look at the rest of the cards so we can pull this whole story together. So we all, oh, Jungle Beauty got a sign now who represents our second chakra, which has to do with our ability to feel pleasure, our ability to have healthy relationships, to get along with other people. Well, what is she saying? Be gentle. She says, be adventurous. Be adventurous. So, be adventurous. I'm just going to go ahead and pull all these cards. So, is somebody talking smack behind your back? She says, you need more time. You need to be adventurous. Which could mean you need to um, de develop new friendships, meet new people. Because she represents our second chakra, which has to do with our joy and pleasure and our ability to have safe um, and loving relationships and to trust our partner okay so we there's a trust issue here here <sighs> yes you might need to step outside of their relationship but let me see what the next card is saying we have jungle beauty goddess Namib, who represents our um, crown chakra our wisdom our higher self the part oh let it go. Some t some things are not meant to be known. I'm getting the feeling that somebody talk was talking smack behind your back. And that it's going to take time for you to get over it. But you don't really need to get into the nitty gritty of the details of what they said. Because that's irrelevant. Because you need to find better people to develop relationships with. But let me see what this last card is saying. The last card is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara says, get her in focus here. D oh. She says, don't take your physical experience for granted. Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara represents our root chakra. She represents our connection to our to actually to your roots to your ancestors to your family to your community our money our connection to the earth our earth suit being human and 
from this particular card this is what I'm picking up is somebody talking smack behind your back the mystical being says you need more time it says you need more time I think you need more time to get over it to get over this person to get over this situation and that you are probably caught up in like exactly what they said like you know they were talking smack but you're just like what well, did he say da -da -da, or did she say da -da -da -da? and the this spread this particular hand is saying you need time to get over these people you, you need time to get over these mofos okay you need to like let them go and it's gonna hurt because you thought y'all was cool like that but you know what you need to just like get on with that like they just not true to you they not who they need to be they not right okay be adventurous and go out there and meet some new people that you can trust some new people that you can tell your stories to that you can be intimate with whether this, these are friends friends or family members or an intimate partner this hand is saying it's gonna take a little time to get over that betrayer you're gonna need more time but you need to like let it go some things that need to be known you don't need some details just know that yeah you it happened they told some things that they shouldn't have that they should not have they share some things about you that was personal and you trusted them but Jungle Beauty Guys Kalahari says sometimes love means letting go now what's interesting about this deck we have two cards sometimes when I see my own cards I think you would think I stacked the deck I would never do that because it wouldn't be any fun but look you have two cards that says let go got one that has let go in it so is somebody talking um, smack behind your back sometimes love means letting go let me get her info well we don't need to see that these it says sometimes love means letting go right and then we have another card from Jungle Beauty Goddess to me, it says let it go. Some some things are not meant to be known. You have two cards that are telling you, who cares? Yes, you need more time to do what? Be adventurous. You need more time to be adventurous, to go out, to venture out, meet new people. Meet new people that you can build trusting and loving relationships with. But in the future, when you meet them, don't. Some, I think sometimes the biggest mistake that we make in relationships is that, you know, let me let me just tell a quick story. Let's just say you go to the store and you see something that cost five hundred dollars. But you go to the clerk and you say, I only have five dollars. Can and you try to say, Well, can I get it for five dollars? They're gonna say no because that's obviously grossly and not a, a, anywhere near an even exchange. So basically in relationships, life kind of works the same way. So let's just say you meet somebody and you're just like sharing, like telling them about your life and you know what's going on and you're trying to, you know, like you feel like you're getting to know them, but they are pretty they're reserved they're not sharing as much information with you or they're not letting you in to the same degree that you're letting them in right so sometimes when you invest in relationships when you're building intimacy you know take your time and take it slow they give a little bit you give a little bit they give a little bit you give a little bit so that you can build something meaningful over time and sometimes you don't know if you can trust a person and maybe it's not that they're talking smack behind your back maybe they just don't value you in the same way that you value them meaning that to them that it wasn't betrayal because it wasn't that deep anyway so the cards are asking you to give yourself time to heal don't take your physical experience for granted this means look you have one body one life this is don't don't waste this earth suit don't waste your body don't waste your time on earth with people that you can't even trust the people who don't even value you people who are exploiting you and telling your secrets are talking crap about you behind your back 
the universe is saying don't take your physical experience for granted don't waste your time with people that you can't you know trust that you can't um, you know what I mean share intimate details and in hopes that that or that just that they would um, be loyal to you you know what I mean so you need to be adventurous and Jungle Beauty Goddess represents our second chakra who is all about friendships, relationships, trust, joy, spontaneity. Get out there and meet some new people. Let this go. You got two cars telling you let it go. Yep. You need time to heal. But once you heal from this betrayal of this person talking smack behind your back, meet new people and take it slow in the future. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.